Thanks for pulling out your pocket, Ronnie. We're going to be doing consecutive integers and consecutive even and odd integers. Okay, as a reminder, an integer is a whole number, not a decimal. It's a whole number and it can be positive or negative. Okay, looking at 17D, 4 through 6, find three consecutive integers. I'm going to stop right there. Consecutive means one after the other. So if I was counting numbers, 4, 5, 6, 7, those are consecutive numbers. We get to the next one by adding 1. So you add 1 every time. Okay? And our problems up here, we do not know what our um, first number is, my second number, my third number, but I do know that I want 3. I want 3 consecutive integers. So over here, I know my first one, well, I'm just going to label it N. I don't know what it is. Okay? My second integer, in order to be consecutive, you have to add 1 every time. So if I have N, then my next one, if I'm counting, I have to add 1. My third integer, I will be adding 1 to this. So N plus 1, and then adding another one. So N plus 1 plus 1 would be n plus 2. So these are counting. I'm adding 1 every time to get my first, second, and third integer. Okay. Now I can go back to my word problem to set up an equation. So my problem says find three consecutive integers. I've already named them. They're going to be n, n plus 1, and n plus 2, such that 3 times the first. Okay. 3 times the first integer. The first integer is n. So 3 times n minus 5 times the second. 5 times my second integer is n plus 1. The parentheses around my n plus 1 is very important. Okay? Is the same as, that means equal, negative 1. This problem is good in keeping up with negatives. Okay? 3 times n, we just say, 3n. This negative 5 has to get distributed. Do not forget to distribute that negative. Negative 5 times n and negative 5n. Negative 5 times a positive 1, a negative 5. That's a very common mistake to lose that negative. This needs to be a negative right there. Is equal to negative 1. Now this is just algebra, combining your n's and your moving your whole numbers. 3n minus 5n is a negative 2n minus 5 equals negative 1. Okay? Algebra. Letters on one side, whole numbers on the other side, or numbers on the other side. So I'm adding, I need to add my 5 to the other side. So I have negative 2n equals a positive 4. Solving for n, I need to divide by negative 2. A positive divided by a negative is a negative. That would be negative 2. I'm not done there. The problem asks for three consecutive integers. Okay? That just tells me that's my first integer. Since I want consecutive, I'm adding 1 every time. If you're not sure, you can take this and put it back up in here everywhere you see it in. Your first integer would be negative 2. Your second integer would be negative 2 plus 1. Negative 2 plus 1 will be negative 1. Your third integer would be negative 2 plus 2. Negative 2 plus 2, 0. And that would be your three consecutive integers. Okay, let's look down at 17E, 1 through 3. This problem says find three consecutive even integers. That word even is a key word. I would circle it or underline it so that you remember to notice that. When you're counting consecutive even integers, you're skip counting by two. Okay? Like two, four, six, eight. Those are consecutive even. I'm skip counting and I'm adding two every time. So since I want three consecutive even integers, I don't know my first one. So I'm just going to call it n, but since I want even integers, I've got to add 2 every time. 
So now I want n plus 2. And my third integer, I'm still adding 2. So add 2 to this be n plus 2. Adding 2 more would be n plus 4. So this is now my first integer, my second integer, my third integer that I use in my word problem. So now I'll go back to my word problem such that 5 times the first, okay? 5 times my first is 5 times n plus 3 times the third. 3 times the third integer, n plus 4. is the same as equals 7 times the second 7 times my second integer is n plus 2 plus 10. For each one of these, for the numbers in front of your parentheses, that number has to get distributed. This has to get distributed. Do you see how this plus 10 was not inside the parentheses? It was outside the parentheses. Okay, so here we have 5n Distributing my 3, 3n plus 12, distributing my 7. Now it's a matter of combining n's and whole numbers. 5n plus 3n, 8n plus 12, no other n's, combining your whole numbers, plus 24. Now move your n's to one side, whole numbers to the other side. Subtract 7n from both sides. This would be 1n plus 12 equals 24. Move my 12 over with my 24. So I have 1n equals 12. I'm not done. The problem said I want three consecutive even integers. So I'm skip counting by two. My first integer I see is 12 because n is 12. But I've got to add two every time. 12, 14, 16. And the problem asked for even numbers, so your answer should be even numbers. Okay, now we're looking at 17b, 13 through 15. This is find three consecutive odd integers. I'm going to stop right there. Odd. I would underline that or circle it. Odd integers. When we are looking at odd integers, then we would be skip counting odd numbers. Okay, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. When you're doing odd integers, you're still skip counting by 2. You're adding 2 every time. Even though they are odd numbers, you're still adding 2 every time. So when you set up a consecutive odd integer problem and a consecutive even integer problem, they are set up the same way. Okay, you will have your first integer, you don't know it, is n. Your second integer, how did I go from one number to the next? I added 2 every time, so I add 2. Even though we're talking about odd integers and then we have an even number here, it gets very confusing, but when you skip count odd numbers, you are still adding 2. So our third integer, we are adding 2 to this previous number, which would end up with n plus 4. Okay, now we take these and go back to our problem, our word problem, to set up an equation. So we have our three consecutive odd integers such that the first, okay, here's our first, plus the third, so thir the first plus the third, the third is n plus 4, is equal to 3 times the second. 3 times the second is n plus 2 plus 19. Our plus 19 is outside the parentheses. Okay? Here we'll need to distribute. Here we just combine like terms. n plus n, 2n. Distribute our 3, 3n plus 6 plus 19. Nothing to combine on our left side. Combine our whole numbers on the right side. 6 plus 19, 9 and 5, 15. Okay. Now we want to get our letters on one side and whole numbers on the other side. So let's move this over. 
that goes away. The 2n minus 3n is a negative 1n plus 4 equals 25. Now let's subtract our 4. So negative 1n equals 25 minus 4. Uh, 21. We don't leave a negative in front of our variable. So we divide both sides by negative 1. That just gives us n. A positive divided by a negative is a negative, and 21 divided by 1 is just 21. So our first integer is negative 21. We're not done because we want three consecutive odd integers. So my first integer is negative 21. In order to skip count odd numbers, I'm adding 2 every time. Okay? It's like putting negative 21 up into here. Negative 21 plus 2. Okay, adding 2. Gives me a negative 19. Be careful with your positive and negative. Negative 21 plus 2 would give you a negative 19. Add 2 to that. Negative 19 plus 2 would be negative 17. The problem asked for odd numbers, so you want to make sure that these numbers are truly odd numbers. And they are odd numbers.